Hi there, this is Alex Lubomirsky and today we are interviewing Leilani Munter who is an incredible sports person, activist, vegan, wonder person. So I hope you enjoy it. You would describe yourself as a vegan? I mean, I painted it on the hood of my race yeah. car. <laughs> so I hope so. <laughs> I'm sort of out there with it. <laughs> it's done, exactly. <laughs> I'm not hiding it from anybody. We were talking about uh, the tradition of sports mm -hmm. and I mean, when they talk about car racing, it's like the noise and the gas and the, 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 the food aspect and the drinking aspect. So was there any pushback? Because it was such a, uh, a, a tradition ingrained sport, what kind of pushback did you find from that? So when I first started talking about environmental issues and it evolved into veganism and re everything else, but it started out with me really talking about climate change and the science and electric cars and solar power. And I definitely got phone calls from people that worked in racing saying, you know, you really just need to shut up and drive the race car. If you're gonna alienate yourself from companies that might want to be on your race car, and you're still trying to make it to the upper levels of racing, so you should really just, you're making a mistake. And um, I don't know, I just felt strongly enough about it, and I also look at myself as more of an activist than a driver, so to me the activism was more important, and if it, prevented a sponsor from working with me, then I was okay with that. Right. I'm a driver and I have this platform to talk to millions of people, to talk about these things that I care about, and I'm reaching a demographic that most scientists and most environmentalists cannot reach. Right. And there's actually a lot more crossover, I think, than people give NASCAR fans credit for, because there's that stereotype, right, right that you know, well, because they like fast cars, they don't care about clean air and clean water right. and the environment, but that's not true. I mean, I was, since 2014, I've been driving my Tesla to and from all the races. They've all been, you know, coming to see the car, coming to talk to me about solar, 30,000 vegan cheeseburgers served last year. So they're much more open to it, I think, than people give them credit for. I think we had 9% of the people that came through my tent were already vegan before they even got to my tent. Right. And then 17% of them were already vegetarian. So, you know, there was, so there a, was a movement. There was, yeah, there was a movement and they were kind of thankful and saying, thank you so much for bringing good vegan food. Normally I'm just stuck eating French fries. Right. But we were shocked at how many pe people were already at the track that were already vegan before I even got there. And so when I, as I was telling you before, I think there's uh, four doorways. Well, actually, now there's five. You, you brought up another one. Uh, I, the four doorways I thought of to go into veganism are the environment, your health, the animals, or some spiritual evolution. And you brought up another one before. What was it? Do you remember? What? World hunger. World hunger, yes, exactly. Right, so one third of the arable land on the planet is right now being used to grow grain that's being fed to livestock. So the number of people that we could feed if we weren't growing the food for livestock and we're growing that food and giving it directly to people right. is, is gigantic. I mean, there's so many reasons. Once you start digging into the why vegan question, there, there is no real argument against it. Yeah. It's better for your body, it's better for the planet, but it would also be very good for the billions of animals that are abused and slaughtered and live the most sad lives their entire life only to be killed for food. Yeah. And so if you want to be a good ethical person and you want to see a kinder world, a cleaner world, a happier world, then you shouldn't eat meat or dairy products. And then I just took it to the next level by painting it on the hood of a race car. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Leilani Munter, and I follow this path for the love of animals. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed that, then please subscribe down around here somewhere.